one of the most underrated decks right now that no one's playing. Half of the top 10 on Dueling Book are playing this engine in their deck, and that is the Buster Lock. And I'm not talking about the Buster Lock of Union Carrier Buster. I'm talking about literally Buster Blader negating all your opponent's effects and destroying your opponent. Let's go. It's an auto waivers every deck this format, except for the best deck pendulums. Do you guys ready for the video? Smash the subscribe button and make sure to not forget to go on tripgaming.com and get the most beautiful play match you guys will ever see, ever. Also, don't forget to sign up on pa Patreon because we post supplemental duels to every single YouTube video ever on every single YouTube video on Patreon. Good ready for the video. Smash the subscribe button and let's go. It's Buster Blade in time, baby. Let's go. One of the most underrated decks this whole format is literally, of all decks, Buster Blader. This deck is actually really, really good. The fact that Buster Whelp could give out a whole floodgate on its own, and the fact that it's not just Buster Whelp that does it, but Trap Trick does it, the actual Prologue Trap itself does it. And for those who don't know how this deck works, I'm going to showcase a specific, very normal, very easy to do combo tutorial that you guys are going to see right now. And then I'm going to showcase you guys a deck profile right after I show you guys a comment tutorial. If you guys want to see videos on this deck, dueling against other meta decks, check out my Patreon. I just uploaded duels with this, I get other meta decks. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Stay tuned until the end and see it all. Let's go. So this deck is just insane. I know it's not pendulum powerful, but it's a deck that deserves respect and has earned my respect. And I'm going to show you guys now how good it is. You guys have to know how good it is. What Buster Wolf does is such as Prologue. What Prologue does, it's skill drain on legs and makes all your basically it's a it's a 2800 attack monster that makes all your opponent's monsters have all their effects negated period so it's extremely good of a card and the fact that it's searchable by nine cards you do play a few bricks but that, that that's okay because you have so many power cards and the whole point of this deck is there's different versions of it with red eyes fusion some people play red eyes fusion in it as long as you have a dragon in the graveyard you could do it hence you play a rocket engine which uh, gives you seven different dragons you play a a Dogmatica engine because the Deer Servant is insanely broken. The fact that you can send Ash Dragon with Ecclesi with the Deer Servant and that gives you the Dragon Engrave. And because you play Trap Trick and Prologue, you have nine ways into Skill Drain on your opponent's turn. And then you're gonna end on a board. Uh, like look at this board here. It's gonna be it's actually absolutely insane on the opponent's turn. Uh, that's what you do. You send Buster Blader and Memories to the graveyard, uh, hence summoning these two. And what Buster Blader Fusion does. All your opponent's monsters effects are negated. Savage Dragon will protect any way they have to stop the combo. It could be stopped by uh, if you skull, if you DD Crow uh, the, the card, the memories is target uh, the Buster Blader. When you activate memories effect, is dead. If you Ghost Mourner or something, it's dead. The skull Meister. These aren't extremely popular hand traps, but they're still hand traps. You can uh, and that's that's about it. You can't even gamma. You could gamma the if you gamma the Buster Whelp, It still doesn't really matter. You still have a bunch of other traps and stuff. You still literally activate Prologue and it does not stop this combo. Uh, because you have, you have trap trick, sorry, not prologue, because they have so many ways into it. Uh, at this point, if they do anything, you negate with Savage, and then really, what are they going to do? Literally nothing. So you're going to pass your turn here. They're probably going to put as many monsters as they can as possible to not die. That's where you can Selene Access Code. That's the beauty of playing Dogmaticas in it. You could just Selene Access Code and destroy them. Uh, if, they don't have enough, if you don't have enough spells for Selene Access Code, you could also put up a rank that Savage Dragon is most likely going to negate something. If he doesn't negate something, you don't XYZ with the Savage Dragon. You could Florida Lees and XYZ with the Florida Lees. The fact that it's level 8 is really, really cool. You can save the Savage Dragon as a negate. And then uh, you bring out this guy, which is 9,000 damage. So it doesn't just stop your opponent from playing, but also OTKs. Uh, no one plays this rank 8 package. I think it's really good to play. Also, you can, uh, another thing you can do, if you, if you can't OTK, let's say they set too many cards. Then what you could do is uh, you could rank 8 into Galaxy Ice Photon Lord instead of this guy. So you have Galaxy Photon Lord as another negate. Then on the opponent's turn, you just Trap Trick for another uh, trap trick for another Prologue. And then do the same thing and bring a Buster. Stop them another turn. And then the following turn, destroy them via this card or Selene Access Code. This deck is so, so, so good. And it re deserves respect. So I have to talk about how good it is so you guys can understand it. Now you can think, okay, Triff, going first, this deck's broken. Going first, this deck's an auto win. Yeah, but what if you don't draw your Buster Whelp? Okay, well, you have about 16 starters in this deck, I believe. 
the fact that you have Ecclesia, the fact that you have uh, Punishment, Quick Launch, all these cards. And the beauty of it is uh, Ice Dragon Prison, which we also play, could summon you a Tuner. So you can go Needle Fiber after that with Access Code. You could also go Punishment or Trap Trick to get Punishment or Trap Trick to get Punishment if you ever need a Negate. Uh, punishment will then uh, send Ash Dragon, which will get you Ecclesia, which will get your whole engine running. So even if you don't have your engine in turn one, Turn two, you get it because all the traps ensure you get your engine. Uh, another cool thing, the fact is going second. So a lot of people think, oh, okay, Triff, where your hand had no hand traps, you lose going second. That's just completely incorrect because trap trick, you also play needle ceiling. So I'm gonna showcase you guys the deck list right now. Hand traps don't do anything this format whatsoever. If you put up, uh, if you have Ash and Nibiru against, you can open Ash and Nibiru, two of the best hand traps in the game. You could have Ash and Nibiru against the Infernal Bull, and they're still going to smoke grenade you and put up four negates. So, you still lose. Put up Ash and Nibiru versus Dragon Link. You still lose. Like, they, you can't do anything against these top decks. Like, you do it against Pendulum. We laugh at you. So, instead of doing that, you got to play traps, like Needle Sealing and stuff like that. And the fact that all the traps synergize, you, know, what, you activate Needle Sealing on that big board after you put up this guy, you can't do anything. Like, you have Savage. Like you have so much stuff that Force negates. I'm not going to showcase you guys the deck profile so you understand what I mean by the trap cards destroying board, just trap board wipes. This is the deck list. As you guys see, any the first 14 cards are just incredible starters. On top of that, you have the prologue and the trap trick, which are great starters. The pseudo starter is also punishment because by punishment sending Ash Dragon, you ensure a play for next turn and it continuously goes forever. For example, punishment sent Ash, etc. Get Ecclesia, get Ecclesia and you just keep going. Uh, get another punishment. Uh, so it's really cool. Now, for going second, the thing I wanted to touch up on, if you see there's 20 trap cards here, all 20 break boards. If you hard draw Needle Ceiling, if you hard draw Punishment, if you hard draw Strike, if you hard draw Prison, they all break boards. Uh, if you if you Ice Dragon Prison, a random card, and your opponent's going to use the Herald on it, you strike the Herald, and you banish a card on the field, the graveyard, and you destroy the Herald, or the Savage Dragon, if that makes sense. In fact, you also play the Servant and this to make boards... Uh, softer to crack with your traps so the idea of the monsters on the field you could normal summon tracer kill the herald whatever it may be but all these monsters that you have over here make uh could soft and the nadir servant and quick launch they soften boards so they all soften boards and then or special summon ecclesia special summon florida lees all these soften boards and the traps just destroy the board that's the idea behind it when you face a combo deck you don't want to side too much hate or you don't want to main too much hate for combo you side in triple torrential triples witcher strike and you just absolutely destroy combo decks like obliterate them like you let them herald then you witcher strike their ass it's hilarious you also side in these six for for control decks and the fact that you play trap trick it is very important to also play two storm duster for a trap trick to be able to set it well against com control decks you want to destroy control decks as well as you do combo decks this is a really cool take on it. You can also play a Lich in this version if you really want to, but I wouldn't play a Lich in this unless you're playing exactly 60 cards. If you were to play a, an 11 card a Lich engine, uh, then which is typical, then the other nine, I would play nine more trap board wipes because you have to ensure that you're opening up your trap board wipes. You can't just auto lose the combo, but one needle seating and one strike kills any board, one punishment, one prison and one strike kills any board, one prologue trap trick kills any, uh, um, punishment kills any board, you can't forget, you also have Florida Leaf to negate effects. You have all these cards to make a, a boards weaker. So this deck's actually extremely good. And if you love Buster Blader or any control deck, this is not just control it, but it's also explosive at the same time. Uh, extra deck, one Striker, one Savage Dragon. I do not play Chaos Ruler. I only play Chaos Ruler with El Lich. If you were to play El Lich, then I would 100% play Chaos Ruler. I would also jump, uh, bump Florida Leaf to two and play Triple Souls if you're playing El Lich cards in here. Uh... And he was going to keep going. Double Buster Dragon and one Buster Blader. You only play one Bu Destruction Sword Memories. You literally don't want to draw it. It's a brick. If you were to hard draw the Memories, you would make sure to discard like a Prologue so you could special the Blader and then still do it. Uh, but uh, Destruction Sword Memories is definitely a brick. In fact, you know what? I could even go ahead and say Dynamiscus might be the better call here over Double Imperm. Uh, playing two Dynamiscus now ensures that you don't you also you have a Mystic Mine out for one. But for two, you also, if you hard draw your bricks, you are now able to continue playing because you just Dynamiscus the memories and continue playing. You really don't want to hard draw the blader or the memories, but playing two Buster Blader in your deck ensures that if you just keep the Buster Blader fusion on board, you can still Buster Dragon them for two turns and destroy them. So you have two turns to kill them as opposed to one. Uh, for the Dogmatica cards, you have Elder Anthony Nites and one Ash Dragon. That is really all you need. 
You got one uh, a BLS link. This card's really, really powerful. One Nightmare Phoenix, one Needle Fiber, Selene Access Code, and then the OTK package, but at the same time, a Rank 8 Negate. If you were to suppose have a dead Florida Leaves on the field, or if you were supposed to have a dead Savage Dragon, or if you know for sure your Buster Dragon's gonna die, your Buster Dragon dies at the end phase. So it's just a free Rank 8, because Buster Dragon does die at the end phase. So I think it's very important to have a Rank 8. You can also have, in theory, uh, the Synchro 9, but you're not always gonna open the Buster Whelp, so it's not necessarily uh, that good. Anyways, that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I wanted to show you guys different decks, not just Pendulums. And I think this deck's absolutely insane and very powerful. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see videos at duels on this deck, check out the Patreon down below. If you guys support, want to support the channel, check out the uh, links down below. Uh, not just support the channel, but support yourself. Get discounts on cards while the links still last. And if you guys want to get the beautiful, most beautiful trip game play mats in the planet, so 30 USD for one of the cloth play mats, get it right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Can you be